Good morning to you. This is Sunday, Sunday morning, Palm Sunday, uh, April the 5th. And I um, hope you had a wonderful Saturday and that you were able to watch our programming. We were delighted to have so many people joining us online and to worship with us together. I'm delighted that uh, we could make this available to you. I hope if you haven't caught it, you certainly could go back and see that at the website. We're also on YouTube under Naples Adventist, Seventh Adventist Church, Naples Seventh Adventist Church. Uh, so be, feel free to do that. Um, I don't know if you watched last night, but the Ten Commandments were on last night. And uh, although I didn't stay all the way up to watch the whole thing, I kind of had an idea how it was going to end, you know, what the story was about. So, but it was interesting to see how the, how the um, movies and filming has changed over the years since that film was made so many years ago. And how things are, boy, could we sit for that long of a, a movie in the theaters anymore? I don't know. They want things short and sweet. Uh, many of them used to be over two hours. Now they're, they're pushing 90 minutes, some of them. So anyway, this morning I wanted to, um, as we begin this uh, precious Holy Week, begin this Passion Week, I wanted to remind us about how Jesus got his disciples. Now, what happened was that when Jesus, after he had been baptized, been through the wilderness, when he passed by John, a couple of the disciples, a couple of John's disciples, John's followers, uh, saw Jesus passing by and they followed him and said, look, behold, the Lamb of God. And so they followed him and Jesus turned around and said, well, what do you want? And they said, well, where are you staying? And he said, well, come and you will see. So they followed Jesus for a while. And as they were following him, they began to see that Jesus was the Messiah and that Jesus was, the, and they proclaimed that to others of their friends, inviting other of their friends to come and follow Jesus. Now there is something in this story that is not laid right out here in John. And that is, if you had been called by a rabbi to come and follow him, to be one of his disciples, one of his students, in, in essence, this was a great honor. And only the brightest and the best would have an opportunity to go and to be a disciple or to learn from a rabbi. The only a few would, need, would have that opportunity. Well, here is Jesus, who became the greatest rabbi that ever existed, the greatest teacher that ever existed. He was inviting people who would never have been invited, people who never would have gone and been asked to follow Jesus. It was part of the school system. They had finished their, um, you know, elementary, maybe had gotten up a little out of the high school, we might say, but they went fishing. They went to their crafts. So for them to be invited to go and to follow was certainly an amazing thing to have happen. So here we have the calling of the disciples in John, and you can read this in chapter uh, one of uh, the gospel according to John. Um, and as they were going, I just wanted to share this with you this morning. The next day, Jesus decided to leave Galilee, finding Philip, and he said to him, follow me. And Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. And Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the true Messiah. Um, we have found the true one that Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Now he's talking, he's talking to Nathanael, and Nathanael asks the question, Nazareth? Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Well, there was a, that was a good question because it was not a great place for people, for scholars, probably had no library, no culture of any kind, just a little town. And Philip said to him, well, come and see for yourself. And so when Jesus saw Nathanael, he called out to him and he said, ah, behold, an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. You may have in the King James says no guile. And so Nathanael asked him, well, how did you know me? And Jesus replied, well, I saw you while you were sitting under the fig tree. 
before Philip called you. And then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. And Jesus said, you believe? Because I told you I saw you under a fig tree? You will see greater things than this. Truly, I tell you, Jesus added, you will see heaven open and you will see angels of God descending and ascending on the Son of Man. And truly, that would be true. It's amazing this call when he saw that Jesus had the power to know, to be able to perceive him from a distance, not to be close, said, I saw you under a fig tree. It was amazing to Nathaniel. And Nathaniel then accepted the call of Christ. This morning, as we begin the Palm Sunday, as people all gathered around and they were all making the noise and everything to follow Jesus, I'd like to ask you, take this week to be a disciple of Jesus, to be someone who follows and learns from him. If you've never done that before, or if you've kind of put that aside, pick it up again and start to follow Christ as your Savior and learn of him. You can do that by reading the scriptures. It's a powerful thing to do. So take time this week and follow along with our readings that you can do And here as we have our readings each day throughout this week. Please follow them. You'll be blessed by them. Dear Lord, thank you so very much for this powerful calling of the disciples to follow you. Some of them just came immediately. Others, they had to be tried. Sometimes they, the disciples had to be called twice, the Bible tells us. But they wanted to be picked up their cross, to be disciples and followers of Christ. I thank you, Lord, for their response and for their ministry after Jesus' resurrection of giving to us the pure and glorious gospel. Bless us as we go through this week. We pray these for all those who are ill, for all those who are helping. Help us to know how to do our part. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, have a great day today. Look out for other things that are on our website. We'll be glad to have you join us at any time. Thanks. <music>